Hello everybody, and welcome to another one of RC Street Shop's product reviews. Hey everybody, today we're talking about the Traxxas Unlimited Desert Racer. Uh, we have not had this kind of excitement about a truck in a long time. I mean, uh, we had a lot of pre-orders for the X-Max and this thing just blows it out of the water. So, uh, this truck is a really big deal. It's really unique. Uh, I think it's a shot across Losi's bow at the Baja Ray and the Ultimate Baja Ray, or whatever they call it, the Giant Baja Ray. But either way, this is just a kick-ass truck in every, uh, every bit of the way. So, let's go through this. What do you get in the box? Uh, like most high-end Traxxas products, and I mentioned this before, you essentially get a box, a truck, a controller, and your bag of paraphernalia. In this, um, you get a couple nice things. The There is a uh, loop in here, an electrical loop, and we'll explain what that is later. There is a wheel wrench that I would hold on to because the wheel nuts on this truck are pretty big. And uh, most of your standard RC stuff won't carry a, uh, a nut driver big enough to fit around the nuts on this. Uh, it's got big nuts. So, just so you're aware. Keep a, keep a, keep these tools handy. Now, the truck is a 4S and 6S truck. This uses the same uh, power system that's in the Revo, the new uh, Revo 2.0, which we did a video on. Uh, so it's a 2200 kV uh, four pole brushless, and it has the VXL 6S speed control that was first introduced on the X Max a couple of years ago. The truck has a very impressive look and feel to it. Uh, it's got dual shocks, single springs, it's a four link in the rear like a, like a, a true desert truck. Uh, it's got a solid rear axle. A neat feature about the rear axle is that in that rear axle it's got a gear reduction built into it which reduces torque twist. Uh, it's got two real uh, spare tires on the back of it. Um, there's an, an amazing amount of detail on the back of this fire extinguishers and shock reservoirs and batteries and cans of oil and I mean, all kinds of really cool stuff that just makes it uh, it shows that tracks is really sweat they sweated the detail on this truck a lot it's more than just uh, like a it's just it's a really impressive piece of work uh, and you really can't appreciate it until you actually see it in person most of the people we've had come in here and go oh yeah I've seen it on the internet and it's cool and the minute they handle it and touch it and feel the suspension work, they, they pre-order one. They're like, wow, i got to have this thing. I don't care what it costs. Um, more features. Uh, it's not really based on any other existing tracks and stuff. It is its own vehicle. Rims, tires, all that stuff are different from, say, like a Slash or something like that. It's a big truck, but it's not really, it's not huge. It's not an X-Max. Uh, there was a lot of speculation on the size of this. Uh, I don't really have anything to compare it to. But um, it's, it, it's about one and a half slashes, I guess you could say, as far as size. It's a good size, though. Like, fist scale tough tends to be too big to play with in a lot of places. This truck is big enough to be really cool because it's big, and it's uh, not so small that it's, you're just going to mistake it for a slash or something like that. Um, more info. It's got... Uh, the solid axle on the back, it's got limiter straps. And what that is, is for those of you that aren't really super sus uh, familiar with suspension stuff, uh, to keep the axle from falling down too much, there's a set of straps in the back that limit how far, how much down travel you have. Uh, these are rubber, super cool. Um, God, I just can't, you know, the detail on this thing is amazing. I'm going to mention that two or three times, but uh, the interior, uh, the driving guys, the 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 uh, they got little switches and they're stickers, but still, it's like you know you could put a GoPro inside of this thing, which Traxxas did in one of their videos, and it looks like you're inside of a real truck. And for RC stuff, that's impressive. The suspension works incredibly well. I mean, if you watch this, it's just so super supple and soft, and it's smooth. They were clever enough to add a sway bar in the rear, uh, the front end of the truck. The arms are solid, it looks super real. I mean, when you see this thing running, it looks like a real truck. And Traxxas has called this, uh, what they refer to as Pro Scale. 
Uh, I think that's their excuse of not putting a number on it. But what their pro scale is, is it's just them putting a whole bunch of extra work into a truck. I mean, this is not, not to downplay Traxxas stuff, but the engineering and work that Traxxas has put into this is just, uh, it's, and some of you are going to flame me in the comments for saying this, but this truck is on par with the best stuff out there. Your Tamiya's, your Kyosho's, uh, your Hot Bodies. Your, this is a really, really well thought out and well engineered truck. Now, that being said, this truck belongs to somebody. We have pre-ordered enough of these where we cannot take one for the shop and go out and run it around and beat it up. So we don't have a driving impression of this yet. And uh, maybe we'll do another follow-up video when six months from now when we get all the trucks we pre-ordered in from Traxxas. But uh, it's, yeah, I would love to take this thing out and launch it off of a few skate jumps and uh, fling it off a BMX jump or something like that and see how durable it is. But fortunately, we do not have that luxury. Traxxas was not nice enough yet to send us one to play with. If you're listening, Traxxas, send us a truck that we can thrash on. Please. Anyway, so a lot of you are looking at this thing going, well, how does the body come off? Well, the body is, is it attached to a space frame or a, a, a roll cage. There's a reason I put the box this way. This is essentially what the truck looks like without the body on it. All the panels are attached to this via screws. Uh, lots of three millimeter flathead screws. Um, and what's cool about it is all the access to everything is done from underneath. Uh, if you flip the truck over, which we'll do in some of the, uh, the, the fades we have showing you, what's, uh, the truck has got a big access panel on the bottom. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to get to the motor, the spur gear, uh, the electronics. Uh, everything's accessed from the bottom. And uh, we've pulled this truck apart to a certain amount and it has a monstrous uh, spur and pinion gear on it. They're really beefy steel units. Uh, so I don't foresee anyone having any trouble with this truck. Now, it's a 6S truck. Another nice feature is Traxxas has gone ahead and thought about people who are going to run around 4S batteries on this. It's got a setup on it so you can run a single 4S Traxxas battery or two 3 cells or two 2 cells, depending on how you want to do it. In the bag, I mentioned before, that they give you a little, a little uh, uh, plug with a loop of wire on it. That's so you can run a single 4S battery. What you do is you plug this little loop of wire into your 3S plug and it has the Traxxas 4S plug in there so you can run a single 4S. So you have a few different options if you have Traxxas batteries of what you want to run. Or if you have aftermarket batteries. If you want to run a pair of, uh, you know, if you have someone else's batteries and they're not Traxxas brand, you can run two 2 cells, two 3 cells. Uh, you cannot run, you could run a single 4 cell, actually I take that back. Uh, all the Traxxas plugs are backwards compatible with their old plugs. So there's a lot of options for batteries on this, which is nice. A lot of these big power systems don't allow you to run a single battery. You have to run in two batteries. So it's, it's good that Traxxas has done that. And if you already have some of Traxxas' high-end products, like an X-Max or a Revo, you can use those batteries in it, and it takes some of the, some of the hit of the cost away. It's not a cheap truck. It's just shy of $800, so, but I think it's worth it in every way. It's going to come in two body styles. What we have here is the rigid truck, which is kind of in what I like to call the Traxxas paint scheme, which is the red and black. Uh, a lot of you who are Traxxas fans will recognize this red and this black together. It's on two or three different slash bodies, and Traxxas always seems to do something in red and black. There's also a Fox body truck, which is a new white, black, and orange, I believe which is uh, the Fox Shots livery. That's super cool looking. I'm a little partial to the rigid truck myself, but that's just me. And, you know, if I was ever get one, I would get a rigid truck. But, so in closing, you can tell I like this truck a lot. And I like this truck a lot. So, what you should do is come down to RC Street Shop and buy one! Yeah, there's the salesman part of the video. Anyway, uh, we're in Long Beach, California, 5521 East Spring Street. Uh, if you happen to be in the area, stop on by. If not, we have a phone number. We use the telephone too. 562-425-9000. Also, like and subscribe if you enjoy the videos. We're going to have them coming out regularly. So hit that subscribe button. 
See you next time.